I think there's a tendency for people who are critics of the BBC to just see it as completely irredeemable. And partly the reason people do that is they just look at these particular kinds of incidences or even the overall pattern of reporting and say, look, this isn't the kind of institution that I want to defend. And I, you know, I understand that. But what we need to think about is not does the BBC do all the things that we want it to do. The question is, why doesn't it do the things that it should be doing? Why doesn't it do what it says it does on the tin, right? Why isn't it, in fact, it, it impartial? Now, there's also different reasons for that. A major reason for it is it doesn't have the political independence that it publicly claims. And I think what's interesting, actually, we're in a moment now where more and more people are recognizing that. What are the reasons for that? Independence is one of them. And, and another of them is the kinds of people who go to work at the BBC. You know, some of this has been acknowledged by the, B, by the BBC itself. Uh, there's the, the, the kind of working relationships that then develop between journalists and the world of Westminster. And, and some of those relationships get formed quite early on, you know, which is related to where people, the sort of social groups that people come from, where they go to university and all the rest of it. So there's all these things going on, but then, but then I think they can all be resolved. You know, they're all specific problems. So to me, the question isn't like, um, you know, does the BBC do always do good things? It's like, can we resolve the problems that we've identified? And I think we can. And a lot of my work has been focused on how we can pin problems to structural problems and then how we can reform that to try and build a better BBC. Um, you know, some problems will be quite intractable and, and, and difficult. And I, I'm not, I don't want to sound sort of naive about the scale of change that's needed, but I don't think you should be throwing out the baby with the bathwater, even if I understand people's sort of like instinct to feel that way about the BBC.